This is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and we're going to be doing an upcycle project today. We're going to be turning this box into a really pretty ocean themed flower box. So let's get started. I really like the shape of this particular box, and the reason why is because I'm going to be adding a mirror to it. So this mirror will fit perfectly on this box after it's painted. So that's going to be a nice addition to this particular project. I also like it because it's a little bit deeper and I want my flowers to be sticking up out of the top. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to cut off these flaps. And you don't have to do it. Sometimes I just tuck them right in. I'm going to cut these off. I'll be sure to list all the supplies that I use below in the description box. Okay, we're going to be painting it with this Caribbean blue paint. So I'm really excited to see how this works. I've never used this particular color before, but it's a, an acrylic paint and I like this kind of paint because it's easy to clean up and it's quick drying. Wow, that's a really pretty paint. Look how pretty that is. I hope you can really see that on camera. It's very vibrant. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting our box. And sometimes depending on the print, um, you may need to add a few coats. I usually do two um, because it looks like this type of paint really has good coverage. And you want to let this dry at least 20 uh, to 30 minutes in between coats. Especially since I'm going to be applying something else to it. So I want to make sure it's good and dry. But so far this is going on pretty good. And so I'm going to go ahead and add um, the second coat after I do this one. And then once that dries, I'm going to put some Aline's acrylic sealer on here and it gives it a nice glossy finish. Okay, so while our box is drying, I'm going to go ahead and paint these anchors. Look how cute those are. Uh, my crafty friend Melanie sent these to me and I just think they're super adorable. And the nice thing is they're wood and you can paint on them. You can decorate it however you like. So because I want this um, as part of my decoration for my whole ocean Caribbean type feel um, flower box, I'm going to put an anchor on it and I'm going to paint it white. So I'm just using acrylic paint to paint this. So I'm using the outdoor indoor gloss, even though it's going to stay indoor, but I, I love that stuff. I like having that white paint for all of my projects. Okay, so it has pretty good coverage on that. Oops, I think I just put a little bit too much paint there. That's okay. I'm really loving this project. I'm going to go around the sides with this too. I don't need the back because I'm going to glue it onto something. So I don't need to do the back part. Okay, do the other one. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I'm not sure right now if I'm going to use this on the back side, decorate both um, matching sides. So we'll see. I may end up using it just to show you what's possible. But I'm really, 
I can see how it's going to come out really pretty. All it takes is a little bit of imagination. Just a little. Okay, and I'm going to let that dry. Okay, so this is how our Caribbean blue box looks all painted and I did put a little bit of um, the gloss sealer on it so you can see that little shine there. I always like to do that um, but you don't have to put that on there but I like to put it on. And so here are my anchors. I did two of them, one for the front and one for the back. And look how pretty that looks. I just painted them white so I didn't do like a whole bunch of coats just a little bit of white on that to make it look good so before I go ahead and put those on I went ahead and put my foam in there to prepare my box and that way my box will be nice and ready and I could go ahead and put my mirrors on like right now so what I'm gonna do is you want to take off the backing on the mirror you want to take off the um, I just usually take this off the label and these little things just pop those off um, I usually use like an exacto knife and pop those off okay so I already did it to this one and just put a little bit I'm gonna put some hot glue on this because it, it should hold I've done this before and so it will hold um, because it's a box now before I do that, look at this. I thought about, why don't I put the anchor on here and then put it on the box. Since I'm doing a mirrored box, I thought that would be pretty. So let me make sure that this is cleaned off real good. And I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on here and glue it directly onto the mirror and those are the uh, Dollar Tree mirrors that I'm using so really um, budget friendly project here okay, so all I'm doing is I'm just gonna find the center here and just press that right on And look how good that looks. Okay, and that goes on really fast. Okay, and so now I'm going to go ahead and put it on my box. Just put glue all around it. No one's going to ever know that this was a box. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this down on here. And just press that down. And so I'm pressing it down because I have that foam inside, so that really helps. Okay. And look at that. So pretty and just different. This look nice in a bathroom or sitting on a nightstand. And I really like the colors too. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. I'm going to put one on the other side too. And, um, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay. And so look how gorgeous that is. Let's see if you can see that in the light there. I am really loving the way this turned out. There it is in the light. Both sides. I just decided to do it on both sides. You don't have to. Um, but I had done one similar to this and I um, it was like an egg roll box. Frozen egg roll box. And I'll post the link below for that tutorial. Um, and that thing looks really good. It's actually in my downstairs bathroom. And so these adhere extremely well. And so let's go ahead and start putting in our flowers. 
And so I just pulled from whatever I had in my stash. And um, these are the colors that I pulled together. You've seen me use these uh, daisies before in another project, but I thought it would kind of break up some of the color. And then I've got some of the, um, the baby breath. I took some of the roses from another bouquet and I snapped them onto this bouquet right here. This is actually a Christmas bouquet, but I like this silver on here. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. Um, and so even with this, this is nice and, and uh, kind of got a nice sparkle to it. I thought that would be, would complement the mirror on the box also. So yeah, you can do whatever you want with these flowers. So I'm going to go ahead and start to assemble those. And I think I want to keep these somewhat long on here, so. I'm going to move that back a little bit just so you can see. I think putting the flowers together are always the fun, fun part. And some of these that don't have leaves on them, just feel free to take a leaf off of something else and see if you could stick it on with another one. And that way your flower will have a leaf. And you know what I'm, else I'm gonna do is put some moss on here. I did have some Spanish moss. from the Dollar Tree, and you get a pretty good amount. And I thought I would go ahead and just put some kind of all around it. This stuff can be really messy, but I think it'll be nice to kind of finish this off with some moss right around this area here, just to kind of cover it, cover it up a little bit. Yeah, but just remember, this stuff can be very messy, but it's okay. I think it's a nice addition to our theme that we're going with. But this just reminds me of being like in the Bahamas. I don't know why it just does that Caribbean blue. And I hope you're getting a lot of ideas while I'm going through the process of, of doing this. Because that's what it's all about. Giving you all in ideas and inspiring. And you may say, hey, I'm going to try it this way. She did it that way, but I'm going to try it this way. And that's fine. Yep, that moss can be messy. Okay, let's take a couple of these baby breaths and I'm just gonna push it right through the moss, right into our display here. And I know I've said this before in other videos, but you cannot beat this, um, these Dollar Tree flowers, I mean, the price is incredible and the amount of stuff that you get is absolutely, absolutely wonderful. And they've been coming out with some really good ones. Now this is, this is actually supposed to be a Christmas type thing, but it still goes with my theme. So I'm going to put it in there. So don't be afraid to try out some stuff. And I'm going to decorate both sides here. Do want my leaf to just kind of be hanging over that side there. And I'll take a really good picture for you and post it at the end so you can see the whole setup here. And see, just adding this that little bit, it's not like, 
It's green, but it's also just a little bit, it has a little bit of a bluish color. And I didn't even know that until I, I actually kind of looked at both of these colors together. And arranging flowers is not like my strong suit, but I do love doing it and seeing what it comes out like. So you just get better with time. And this is really, really looking good. I am really happy with this. And with the way it came out. And like I said, I will definitely take a picture so you can see the final outcome. And adding that moss really, really does something to this. So I love it. It looks real natural with the moss in it. So I'll have to start using more of those. I just wasn't sure. I've had it before, but I wasn't sure what to really do with it. I have to, have to be honest with you. Wasn't sure what to do with it, so. This is so pretty, this little leaf right here. Okay. All right, so we're all done with our mirrored uh, flower box, and no one would know that this was a hostess see I even forgot <laughs> this was a hostess coffee cake box and now it's a beautiful display for anywhere in the house so I hope you like this thanks so much for joining me and if you haven't done so please go ahead and join our crafty family hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit the notification bell also so that you can find out all of the newest videos that I'm releasing, and please like this video. Bye!